my name is Lori and I'm an educator here at Green Acres. I just collected some sap from our sugar maple trees and I'm here at the sugar shack where we can turn this sap into syrup. So let's head inside and take a look. Hi Mary. Hi Lori. I'm just bringing you some sap from the sugar bush. Thank you. Can you take us through the process of how you turn the sap into syrup? Absolutely. So we're first going to take the sap and we're going to put it through a filter. And we do that so that any bark or insects that were in the sap that you brought in don't make it into our syrup because we don't want that on our pancakes. So that sap was then filtered down into our warming pan right here. And then eventually it will go down into our lower pan here. This whole setup here is called our evaporator. Can you tell us how the sap moves through the evaporator and how that works? Absolutely. So when we're ready, we're gonna open up this valve here and that's gonna allow our sap to flow down into our pan here. And over time, it's, you'll notice that there's lots of bubbles here. So it's boiling as it moves and it's gonna flow through each trough here. So it's gonna start here, flow through this trough, all the way down here and go all the way to here. And as it's going, it's cooking. And this stuff that you see coming off is steam. This steam is water that is being cooked off of our sap. So it's evaporating and that's why you guys call it an evaporator. Exactly. That's awesome. Now, I noticed when you first put the sap in, it was clear, but as it's moving through here, it's turning a darker color. It's a light golden brown right now. Great observation, you're exactly right. As it moves through the trough, it's getting darker and darker. And it gets so dark to the point to down here, it will be its darkest that it will be in this evaporator. And the reason it's doing that is because that water is evaporating off because sap is actually 98% water and 2% sugar. So a lot of water and a little bit of sugar. So we need all that, a lot of that water to evaporate off um, of this sap to get us to almost syrup. So I noticed you said it's almost syrup. So what happens after this? So at this point, we will open up this valve here and we will filter it. And our goal with filtering is to remove this substance called sugar sand. Sugar sand is a uh, mineral that is in the tree that we don't want on our pancakes because it's kind of like a gritty, dirty sensation. We don't want that. So we try to filter that out once we um, open up this valve and then we'll take it up to the kitchen and we'll cook it even more till it's the perfect consistency of syrup, syrup which is 66% sugar, 34% water. And we do that on a stove so that we can really control the heat. That's amazing. So the only thing I have left to ask is how are you powering this? How are you cooking all of the sap down? Yeah, so this is over top of a firebox or our stove. So this is powered by wood. So I'm gonna grab a piece of wood here and we're gonna throw it into our fire. All right. So we need trees throughout this whole process, not only for our sap, but also for our fire to heat this evaporator and cook off that water. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks, Mary, for showing us how the evaporator works. And thank you all for joining us. And we'll see you next time here at Green Acres.